everyone, it's Missy, and today I want to do a customer review of the Collector's Edition Passport um, to our national parks. And the, I got this as a Christmas gift. Um, I'm making a New Year's resolution to do, to do some more traveling because this past year, or 2016, um, my family and friends have been really trying to persuade me to go more and do more traveling. So, um, which is probably why I got this as a Christmas gift. Um, this is different from the regular, uh, passport book that they have out. I kind of have a little printout of here. So you have a little pocket size passport book. It has some spaces, um, for the commemorative stamps as well as the cancellation stamps. But it doesn't have a spot in there for all of them for every single national park national monument or and so forth whereas the collector's edition is supposed to have everything all the space for every single cancellation stamp and commemorative stamp that have been printed thus far uh, the book is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be so the pocket size is about that size I mean it's like a quarter of the size of this one or maybe half, but um, it's definitely more of a pocket size. This book here uh, measures a lot bigger, like I said, the package was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to get my tape measure here and give you the measurements so you know. So it's 8 inches across and 10 inches in length. So 8 by 10. This isn't something that's um, necessarily you can put in like um, a small purse or anything when you're carrying it around. Uh, fortunately enough, I usually travel with a backpack because I like to hike, so it will fit in my backpack, but it will be a big thing to carry around. The book itself I think is really good quality. It's like a hardcover. It's spiral bound, which is really nice because you can lay the, f the pages flat when you need to stamp. Um, it, it, the pages are good quality. Uh, they have some illustrations in here, not too many. Uh, they do have good uh, illustrations with the write-ups um, uh, with the main national sightseeing that you want to do, such as Yellowstone National Park. They highlight the main ones that are the more popular ones. The smaller ones that you, you don't really see too much for illustration or description in. You do get a map with your passport. I believe every single kind of passport you buy you do get a map with. I'm going to open it up here if I can. And this is just a map that shows you again all the items that are part of the National Park Service system. So you have your international historic sites, your national battlefields, your national historic parks. Uh, I mean, everything's on here. It even lists the trails, the national trails, and so forth. There's not too many parks or monuments or anything up here in the Midwest, which is the region that I live in. You're going to find most of this stuff along the East Coast and along the West Coast. It's like the Great Plains. I don't know. You guys on the east and west coast, why don't you just fly over us? I don't know. <laughs> so, you do have um, more in the southern range. Uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee. There's quite a few different spots that they've marked. Alaska has its own spot. Uh, there's, there's quite a bit of national preserves in Alaska that you can visit. And Hawaii also has quite a few. I have been to Pearl Harbor, or they call it World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument, um, the USS Arizona. I was out there um, with my grandmother back in 2004. Uh, there's other national uh, parks, monuments that I did not see when I was in Hawaii. And I was actually shocked to find out that there's um, four on the big island, one on Maui. Uh, I want to say that there's three different ones on Oahu. Uh, so you, you can 
really make a trip to Hawaii and go island hopping and get to some various destinations, which I would love to go back to Hawaii. So that would be like an incentive for me to uh, make sure I go and visit more places there. You're also going to have your territories. Guam uh, has a couple. You have uh, Puerto Rico, of course, the Virgin Islands, and uh, American Samoa has three. So it's it's really nice. You can hang this map up if you want to and uh, mark off all the ones that you see and so forth. I just like it as a reference tool. Um, it does come in handy. Another thing too, and I don't have my iPad in here, but there is, uh, they give you a map. Um, you can get the National Park Passport app, which is free. And I downloaded that, and you can also keep track of the parks and various destinations that you want to go to on there, which is kind of cool. So you can have an electronic version, if, or you can have a paper version. So, like I said, they do a small write-up. The Passport Club itself, you have your cancellation stamp. This is the stamp you get when you visit the National Park Monument, Trail, etc., so it says the name of the National Historic Site you visited, where it's located, and then the date, and the date that you were there. A commemorative stamp is a sticker that you can purchase. They started printing these in 1986, and you can take and affix them into the book, and this will add more color, more description, and uh, more illustrations to your national parks. And on this page, so it shows kind of the series. Being my family knows me that I know very well and that I'm a collector, which is hence the reason why I think I got that collector's edition. I also got all the stamps from 1986 through 2017. So I have the stamps to place in the book. This is the 1986 one, Statue of Liberty. You got uh, the National Capital Regional um, Vietnam Veterans Memorial. There we go. And uh, so that would be the National Capital, Capital Regional stamp. So they do the stamps by region. So you got North Atlantic, Mid Atlantic, uh, National Capital, Southeast, uh, Midwest. Pacific Northwest and Alaska they put together, Western, Rocky Mountain, Southwest, and then they just have the national stamp. And then you get kind of an extra one up here, a flag or whatever. So 1986, got 1987, 88, 89, 90, they always do this flag, it seems like, 91. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, they did a commemorative issue, so, because it was 150 years, so, that's pretty cool. 2000, 2001, 2002, got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, you have the 50th anniversary of um, the Martin Luther King Jr. March is how I've always had it, but I have a dream. 2014, 2015, 2016, this was our park's uh, 100th, so the oldest national park had their 100th anniversary. So that's 
was that one. And here is the new 2017 uh, Find Your Park. So, uh, I think that's their new kind of campaign going on after the 100th anniversary. So there you go. Um, so, let's see. So it says even here, you got your national stamp, regional stamp. Then, again, like I said, this book is broke out into regions, just like any of the other Passport books. Uh, everything's color-coded. These are where the national stamps go. So the first pages are those stickers I just showed you. I affix them in here. Then you start off with the North Atlantic region and it gives you a, basically a listing of all the National Parks Monuments again that you can visit in this region. And then it kind of gives you a little description on what you're going to see in that region. And then it gives you a checklist that you can mark off all the areas that you have visited. And this is where you affix your regional stamp and this is where you put your cancellation stamp. So, you know, um, just because there's a spot for a regional stamp, regional commemorative stamp, doesn't necessarily mean that they have printed it yet. Um, they're still printing these, so you, I will be continuing to purchase the different year stamp series sheets so I can keep filling up my book. Um, the ones that they have printed are going to be like in this color, uh, faded color, so you know where to put the stamp. And also you can kind of read it too and um, see what uh, the description is for the... Um, in this case, the National Historic Site with Boston African American uh, for pre-Civil War. So it's it's kind of neat though just having the actual sticker I think in there because then it really brings out the color and it adds more of um, like I think more illustration and a better <laughs> the description isn't so um, faded too. You can read it better. And they'll have some pictures in here um, that you can view. But the pages are nice and thick. Uh, they're like cardstock. They're not anything that uh, the ink should bleed through when you're doing your um, cancellations. And then this is the space for extra cancellations. So I went to a couple of events. I went to our uh, state fair where they had the 100th anniversary uh, booth and I got a stamp from that this past summer and I could tape and affix this in here and if they have any other extra cancellations like they make more spots or more um, historic sites you can put those in there as well and then so you just keep going through all the regions um, I think it really is going to provide me a lot more uh, information about the history of the United States which I, I'm really excited to learn about. And then, of course, you have your national trail system in the back. Uh, for those of you who want to um, tackle any of those long-distance trails between the national historic sites. So I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I highly recommend it. I should say purchase. This gift, I'm so I'm not used to having other people buy this stuff and then I review it. So, but I'm really am happy with it. Um, I think if you are into collecting um, items when you travel, this is probably a must because you can collect the stamps, you can collect the commemorative stamps, and that can kind of help you like relive your memories too. Um, I like that the cancellation stamps have this specific date on there that you visited so you, you can always go back and look and say, oh yeah, when did I visit that place? Um, there is not a spot to write down 
uh, your notes or journal. Um, I'm also part of the Minnesota State Park uh, uh, Passport Club, and they give you a journal as well as a book where you do your cancellation stamps. So it would have been kind of nice to have that. Um, there's no way to add pages to this spiral bound edition. Um, I suppose you could write some notes um, on the side, but it, it would be pretty neat if they allowed some spots to put like notes. I always like to write in my journal what are the best camping sites or what was the best uh, sightseeing area in a park and so forth. They also um, gave me a coupon to get a free 8x8 photo book so you could take pictures of your trip and then make a photo book of it so that way I guess that's kind of their way of making a trip journal. And I also got the 2016 Centennial Pin. Uh, they said that this was included in the order so I don't know if this is just something that you always get or if it was just for when they ordered it that must have been um, the promoted promotion item at the time. And I also saw on their website, I'm going to have a link below if you are interested in purchasing these items, that uh, this item was new. So I'm thinking that they made this for the centennial uh, for people who really wanted to visit the national parks in 2016. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get this book because there was a lot of trips, uh, train trips, bus trips, where you could go visit the National Historical Sites. But um, we'll see if they do anything like that for 2017. I'll probably try to um, get my get on board one of those so I can start making some uh, marks, some can start collecting some cancellation stamps. But in the meantime, while I'm planning my trip for that, I'll be affixing my commemoratives in there. I er, I do collect postage stamps, so I think I was more excited about the commemorative stamps because it's kind of like postage stamp collecting. But if you have any questions or further comments, you can always leave me a comment below. Um, if like, Make sure to like this video and maybe I can take you guys along when I go visit these sites and do some traveling and give you some videos too. So I hope everyone has a happy new year. Bye! So I wanted to make a correction. Earlier in the video I said that there would be enough room for all the commemorative um, stamps or these stickers. And obviously there's not. I got to the National Capital Region and as you can see I had to use the space for extra cancellations to place the rest of the stickers throughout the years. Um, and I pretty much filled most of the pages. Some of these are empty. Um, but I just wanted to make mention of that. I was a little disappointed because even in, I want to say the North Atlantic region, there was a duplicate, here it is, of um, Acadia National Park and they made two stamps, one in 1986 and one in 2016. Um, so I was kind of disappointed in that, considering that there's still other regional stamps they needed to make. But, um, that's, I, you kind of have to live with it. Um, just because I'm a person who likes to have everything neat and organized, I want to make sure that there's plenty of room for all the stickers and stamps that I can collect. But, um, just to make sure that you're aware of that, I don't know now if there is enough space for all the cancellations that they have out there for all the parks and trails. I'm guessing now because there wasn't enough room for all the, the commemorative stamps, there probably isn't for the cancellations either. But I'll have to take some trips and find out for myself. So if you have any questions about this, please leave me a comment below. Thank you!